send you a quick message this Friday in regards to our safety protocols so that we're all on the same page and you're hearing it straight from me at the district level. So thank you, first of all, for being vigilant about all of our safety protocols. I can't thank you enough for wearing your mask, reminding our children and others to always wear their masks to keep a safe distance. And thank you so much for following our rules. I know it's not easy and you are being flexible with us just to make sure that the distance between children is being kept um, as safe as possible. So thank you for that. As you know, our cases are on the rise. We are definitely one of the districts that has the lowest case rate right now. However, it is on its move in terms of just the virus being out there in the community. And so with that, I thank you for your grace and your flexibility. Again, we are doing everything possible to make sure that our protocols are sound and that we are prioritizing safety. So today in um, our message to you via email, I will be sending out some sheets to let you know what the letters look like that we send out to our school communities and our families when there is a positive case, when there is a staff positive case, and also what are the protocols that we follow in order to contact families appropriately. All of those are following the CDC guidelines, the CDPH guidelines, and also the Monterey County Health Department. So really important that you know that we are following every single uh, protocol that has been set forth for, the, for our state of California. In terms of testing, we are going to make sure that testing is available should someone need to get tested, whether it's a student and our families aren't sure where to go. So we're exploring uh, the possibility of getting test kits here. We're also going to make sure that we have testing centers within our FRC and available here in our boardroom. And so we're working with a program called Viva Proyecto Program. And it is a, from the Lides Campesinas are the workers that go out and they actually go to the family of our students to help support the family in testing uh, for the virus. And so that's a really great asset that we're able to bring here to Greenfield. Also want to just make sure that you know, I'm going to be recording a video for our parents that will be played at our back to school nights. And that will remind our parents to please, if your child is sick, if your child has a temperature, please don't send them to school. We want them to be as healthy as possible and stay home. And so we want to um, give them the resources to be able to understand when their child might have a temperature and it might be COVID related. And when they call our offices, we wanna make sure that we respond accordingly as well with resources. We have a phenomenal nurse, Judy, our RN, and nurse Quinley Camacho, our LVN, that are helping support us through the, all of the medical and the questions that are going to be coming at us um, from our parents. And they're working directly with our human resources department, Director Martinez. So I just wanted to put that out for you just to understand we are absolutely doing everything humanly possible to keep you safe, to keep our community safe, to keep our children safe in our, in our classrooms. And I just thank you. I thank you sincerely for following all of those rules, even though they're not ideal. You're doing it because you know that we'll be a better family, a better community, and it's the way that we protect our GUSD family. So thank you everyone for listening to this message, and I'll see you soon.